guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to solve lead code question 83, remove duplicates from sorted list. Um, so for this question we're given a sorted linked list and it's going to be singly linked. Um, and we're just asked to delete any duplicate elements. Um, and so since this list is sorted, um, kind of the approach we're going to want to take is just to loop through the list. And all we have to do is compare elements that are next to each other because any duplicates will appear in order. Um, and we can look at this example here. So we would find a duplicate one when comparing these two neighbors and then a duplicate three when comparing these two neighbors. And we'd remove one of each of these to get this as the resulting list. Okay, um, so to start coding this, um, we're just going to define another node variable because we're going to want to keep the head of our list since at the end of this algorithm we have to return that same head to give back like, the beginning of the list. So we can just define node and set that equal to head. Um, and then we're going to loop while that node is not equal to a null pointer. So as we move this node, it'll just go through the list until we reach the point where it's no longer in the list anymore. Um, and then to check for if there's a duplicate, again, we can just check it against its neighbors. So we can say if node um, and val is the um, integer value, if that is equal to the next node's value, then we're going to want to remove one of those. So to do that, um, I'll kind of give another example here, or a visual. So say these are the elements in our list. Um, and let's say we wanted to remove this middle element. So we'd have like another temporary pointer here. Oops. Um, so this is the one we're trying to remove. All we have to do to get it out of our list is change this pointer right here, this like next pointer. Um, oops. And set that equal to this node. So it's now pointing over there. Um, and then using this temporary pointer that we have, we can then delete this node from memory just to do extra cleanup. Okay, so to code that, um, we'll make another list node pointer and just call it temp. Um, set that equal to, we'll actually delete the next node so that we can just stay on the node that we're currently on to continue checking in our list. So that's equal to node next, which will be deleted. Um, and then the node next. So this is the pointer on our current node. So we're not actually changing um, like this temp variable at all, but the pointer on the current node that we're on is getting changed so that it points at um, the next node, the next node's next node. Um, so that is doing this change, pointing at the next one. Um, and then we have this temporary pointer, which is still pointing right here. So we can use that to delete that um, freed node from memory. So we just do delete temp, and that will remove this structure from memory. Um, and then if we did not find a duplicate, we're just going to want to move node along in the list. Right, so the reason that we don't move the node in here is because, um, let's say you were on one and found a duplicate and removed this one. You still want to check this one against the two, which would be the next um, 
element in the list because you don't know if there are multiple duplicates in a row. Okay, and there's going to be one bug with this program. Um, since we're accessing node next value, we're just going to want to add another check in here that node next is also not equal to null pointer. Because if we make this call and this node next is a null pointer, then we'll get a runtime error. And um, if this is equal to null pointer, then we're done looking through the list because we're already on the last element. Um, and then after our while loop, we just return the head of the list that we're given. And that should be it. So we can try to run this. Oops. List node. Okay, and it works. And you can see this is about as fast as we can be. Um, and then the memory usage was also uh, not bad, but that's been changing. Okay, so for the complexity analysis of this, um, we can first look at the space complexity. Um, so we're not storing anything besides these two temporary list nodes. Um, and since these will be the same every time, no matter how many elements you're given, we can just say that we have constant space. So O of one. And then for the time complexity, we are going to loop through every node in the list and we'll only do constant operations on them. So checking values, um, like moving nodes along or changing pointers, even deleting the structure because the structure will be the same every time. Those are all constant operations. Um, so our time complexity is just O of n, where n is the number of elements in our list. <laughs>